You're so sweet and tender, and thrill me all over. I'm just mad about you. I wish I could believe you. But you must believe me, dear. I'm a man of means. I have money, plenty of money, and I can give you everything your little heart desires. Just you be sweet to me and see. I wish you wouldn't help me. Can't you understand what it means? I'm only a young girl, just out of school, and my poor mother, Wash yourself to death to send me through college and die saying that I would struggle hard and be somebody. But, my dear, I want to help you. 
I mean what I say. I want to marry you. Honestly? Do you mean it? Do you really want me to marry you? Why, of course. Ah! Now, folks, I guess you think you've heard some funny comics. You wait until you hear George and Gary. Gary and George, hello! <laughs>
Well, I don't like the way she looks at me, though. Well, to be frank about it, she doesn't exactly like you. Doesn't trust you. But if you marry me and be nice to me, like you say you're going to, everything will be all right, Daddy dear. And if I'm not? Well, she always said that if any man was mean to me, he... Do what? Kill me. But you will be nice to me, won't you, Daddy? Oh, I, of course I will, dear. Especially I will. You know I will. Oh, Daddy, you make me so happy. Suppose we dance now. Yes, suppose we do. Oh. <laughs>
Will you tell Miss Iris Groves that a gentleman wishes to see her and send her to my table, please? This is Miss Iris Groves, Mr. Beg pardon, sir. Which Ida did you want to see? Ida Groves or Ida Morton? There are two Idas here, you know. Oh, is that so? Oh, let me see. Uh, which one are you? Well, I'm Ida Groves. Oh, I see. And the other girl's name is? Ida Morton. Hmm, I see. Well, it is Ida Morton that I want. Thank you. I'll send her to you. Now, ladies and gentlemen, these sweet women will endeavor to entertain you with a sweet song shoe number. Hit it, boys. <laughs> Pardon me, but this is... Ida Martin, thank you. And you? Jerry Marshall. Mr. Morton's a producer? Well, something like that, I guess. Oh, I'm delighted. Flattered. Everything. I have a seat, Miss Morton. I'm here especially to see you. Oh, Mr. Martin, really? Really and truly. Oh, Mr. Martin, whatever can you wish to speak to me about? Pictures. Motion pictures. How would you like to work in one? Oh. How would I like to go to heaven without John? Oh, Mr. Marshall, you can't mean it. Of course I mean it, Bessie. Oh, great goodness. I just can't believe it. Honestly, Mr. Marshall, you're not getting Do you really want to use me in a picture? There. I knew you were only joking. You didn't mean what you said in the beginning. Oh, that is unkind. And I've begun to hope. Of course I want to use you, but I, uh... But, but what, Mr. Marshall? Well, the part is only small and don't pay much. And I, uh... Oh, any part will do, just as long as they need you. And as to the pay, why the warning? I'm worth for nothing. I'll... But that's not business. The part, as I have said, is small and pays only three dollars and a half a day. But I'll... I'll take it and, I, and work so hard, Mr. Marshall. And I want to thank you so much for giving it to me. You don't realize how happy this makes me. Now, what can I do to show you how much I appreciate this? Can I sing for you, dance for you? Oh, Mr. Marshall, I can do almost anything, and I'm willing to do it all for you. Just say what you want me to do. Really, you interest me. You have personality and talent. And I'm going back to my office and build your part of it to something bigger. Meanwhile, you can sing for me here and dance for me if you want to. You're on! <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
a man killed? Great goodness, no. What's the idea? One is going to be committed here tonight. What are you talking about? The murder that's going to be committed here tonight. If you're not joking, I'm ready to leave. I'm not joking. Do you see that woman over there? I'll tell you the story. Fifteen years ago, she was young and beautiful. And she was madly in love with the man that you see her there now with. No, no. You're mistaken. It is true that he betrayed her. But she's not seeking revenge for herself, but for another. Until I'm good and ready. You can't find work because you're not looking for it. You've done nothing to help me, but tried to hinder me since the baby comes. Keep this house now. Be running around with other women while I lay suffering at the point of death, and all because of you. I hate you. Why shouldn't I run around with other women? I'm free, single, disengaged, and have a right to. Well, here's one you were tied to, and more now since the baby's here. <laughs>
do with that thing? I'm going to kill a rat. But listen, listen. Now you know you won't. Now you won't. At the trial, he clear through an alibi and returned to his racket of luring girls to the ruin, just as she had ruined her. It so happened that this girl had told the woman her story, and the woman had cared for her, and still keeps her baby. Now he's due here tonight, and she is waiting, and is going to shoot him on sight. Hey, I'll move now. No. You're too late. Here he comes now. Don't say anything. The men are watching. I know it looks bad for me, but I'm not going to do anything. I shall sit right here and wait until I receive the other note. And then? But Lisa, are you mad? Do you think I'm going to sit here and see you, the woman I love and have always loved, murdered by this madman? Why, I... Please answer me. You know I love you, too. 
and have traveled thousands of miles in my efforts to escape this madness and find you. Oh, Anthony, my love, I wish I could embrace you so you could feel the beat of my heart and know that I love you, but you must promise to be patient and believe me. Last night, I dreamed of mother, my poor dear mother, who is dead. She came to me in my sleep and told me this man would catch up with me here in New York, but not to run away. And that before, oh, my <laughs> Come on, dear. Hey. Be calm, my baby. Place your trust in God. Something terrible is going to happen. But have faith, my daughter. Have faith. Lisa, I'm going out that door. And you're going with me. But I... Please don't, Anthony. If you love me truly, don't try and take me out of here now. But just sit with me. Close to me. And wait. I'm not afraid. I'm strangely confident and happy. Now, the show is going to start.
My darling. It's strange, but I thought I heard you in the house before you came. I was sure I heard somebody. Amusing, but I didn't arrive until I rang the bell. I guess I was mistaken, yet I would have sworn that I heard somebody. However, now that you are here, 
Take a seat in the parlor while I run upstairs and finish dressing. I'll be down in two minutes. Oh, dear. Please don't. Just to know that, my angel. You must remember, I haven't seen you for weeks. Are you satisfied? No. Another. Oh, Anthony, let me go. We'll be late. I love you, Letha. And I love you too, Anthony. My, but you are stunning, my dear. You think so? You're wonderful. Thank you. Now let's hurry. No, no, no more kisses until we come back. You'll spoil my makeup.
Pardon me. Is this Miss Lisa Watkins? Yes. This is Anthony. And there is no escape now. I... I must go. I understand. And you must go. But I... am going with you. Thank you. 